hey, you should watch this video first. It will give you some context to what you're about to see, but in short, this video is from Marcel. He tells us how he achieved the quadratic easing uh, that he uh, did for the Parallax on the Web series. So, uh, take it away, Marcel. We're going to be adding some easing on these blog posts here because right now, when we come down, they come in and they stop really suddenly. And here's how we're going to add the easing. Here's the old code, and as you can see, we are just translating in the x direction of whatever scroll distance you scroll down. So the easing is linear, or no easing at all. So for every pixel you scroll down, the element will come in one pixel to the right. So I'm going to close this and save this file with my changes. So what I've done is I've made a function called posts and I've just passed in the scroll distance. I've also set two variables right in the uh, root here. So posts top and window height. And the post top is just basically the top of the posts here. So the uh, blog post element and the window height is obviously the window height. And then what I'm doing is I'm doing some math here. So now it's got quadratic easing. So if I refresh this, you can see that when they come in, they slow down and stop slowly. Like that. To better understand what's going on here, I've made this graph where this red line is linear easing and x is the distance you scroll and y is the distance from its final resting place the distance of the final el of the element from its final resting place and i've just selected 300 pixels as the place i want the element to end up but obviously it's different in our example here, but just for this graph I've chosen 300 pixels. And now this is with the quadratic easing. So we can see the 300 pixels right here and the key is this power of 2. And this basically just flattens out the graph if I get rid of that. It's like saying 1 in front it's going to be really narrow, way too narrow. So I've just chosen that as a nice way to make it a little bit flatter so it comes in more slowly. If you want to make it come in faster, you can just bump it up a bit. So maybe like that. Or if you want to make it come in more slowly, lower it a bit. But I've, I like this. It works pretty well. So now let's get on to the code. The first thing we need to do is determine the element's final resting place. And that's the place here where it's zero pixels away from where it needs to end up. And that was at 300 in this example. But the way I determine that is using the position of the top of the posts, which is here. And then I subtract an eighth of the window height. So when you get about here it should stop and that's about an eighth of the height of my window that it has a bit of padding here the next variable I defined is this offset which is the distance away from the final resting place the element should be at any given time and now we do a little bit of math to see if the distance you've scrolled or X is less or greater than the place you want to end up. Because if we look back at our graph, once the quadratic function reaches zero, it starts to go up again. And we don't want that. We want it to just come down here and stop, stay where it should end up. So we say that if it's less than the goal, so on this side of 300, well, wherever it will be, it should be equal to math.min, which means take these two numbers and whichever one's lower will be what it's equal to and the reason we do this is
because we don't want them going too far away. So we just want them to we just want to keep them a little bit off screen, not go crazy far out. And then we use this function we had before, it's just written in JavaScript. And if it's greater than the goal, we'll just make it equal to zero. So if it's way over here, for example, it will just be zero, not up here. The next thing we do is we just grab both of these outside post elements, so one and two, or one and three rather, and we set the one on the left to be translate minus this number, and the one on the right to be positive that number. And again, we make them go down a bit, and we just use this point two to make them come in diagonally, and we get this really nice easing effect. Thanks to Marcel for explaining that to us so well. And thank you for watching, and until next time, keep on hacking.